guys it's your boy Isaac here and um really fucking random video I was just driving out around the neighborhood and I decided to film a video and not just any video I decided to start a vlog series because you know that's what everyone does and I'm like fuck it let's put my own little twist to this shit and uh vlog about personal development so we'll go through some of the things I do on a day-to-day -day basis I started a bit too late it's like four o'clock right now I'm not sure if you can see that time you probably can't but I'm just gonna go through I'm um, do on a usual day and maybe you guys are gonna be interested maybe something interesting is gonna happen we'll, we'll see but um i want to start off by talking about how i'm gonna quit my fucking job tomorrow and the reason i'm quitting is simply because i'm bored of it i'm the type of guy who can't stay in at the same position for too long i need a i need something to challenge me i need something to you know um make me step up i can't get paid the same amount of money week by week knowing that there's no room for improvement that there's no avenues to uh, improve my situation and I've always been interested in making my own money for myself working on my own terms so this is a beautiful time for me to try possibly affiliate marketing or sell my own products online because I think at the end of the day a lot of us especially people that are gravitated towards personal development want to live life on their terms and to do that you're probably gonna need your own business or some sort of passive income some sort of way to make revenue without trading your time for money because at the end of the day, as I always say, time is the most valuable shit you have in this life because we don't know what's going to happen after we die. So you want to get as much time as you can to spend with your family, to spend with your loved ones, to spend with your passion and all that good stuff. So that's going to be really good. So tomorrow I'm quitting. I'm getting out of there. And yeah, so I don't know how this vlog shit works. So I'm going to just fast forward to the next couple of hours and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next. So at the house right now, Look at this, guys. 786, isn't that great? I think we can get a thousand before the end of next month. But anyway, got my mango. I love mangoes, and I was just about to start reading a new book that's been here for a while now. Uh, some of you guys might have heard of Tools of Titans by Tim Ferriss. And Tim Ferriss is the guy who, um, Wrote the four hour work week. I'm sure you guys know about that book. Um, I honestly didn't really like it. I like the concept of it, but a lot of the stuff was a bit, you know, salesman -y. Like, you're not really gonna be working four hours and have a successful business. It's kind of like a just gimmicky title to get people to buy the book. But the principle behind the book of, you know, Living a life on your terms is very good. and I, That's why I personally like about the book. So Tim Ferriss, he's a very practical writer. He came up with this new book. Yeah. I haven't checked out his other books. He's got a few other ones, but this one's highly anticipated. And it's a freaking, it's like a manual. It's humongous. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this book. I can't really talk about it yet because I haven't started reading it. I've read like up to there how to use this book. Well, basically... Uh, Tim advises that you go through and look for what you want. So the book is separated into different sections. It's got part one, healthy. It's basically a compilation of all these interviews that Tim Ferriss did with different people. And he's getting like the main cliff notes from those interviews. Because he has this podcast online and the podcast is roughly around, you know, like an hour to two hours every podcast. And if you're someone who's studying personal development and trying to improve yourself, you're not really going to have a lot of time to watch every single podcast. So what you do is you get this book and go to whatever section you want, health, wealthy or wise. Look at who was interviewed and check out the interview. See, so there's a lot of guys here. There's like Remit Sethi. I read one of his books before, Tony Robbins. I'm sure a lot of people know who Tony Robbins is. There's one of his books right there, Awaken the Giant Within. Um, yeah, so he's got a lot of people. Some of these people I don't even know who the fuck they are, but they're probably really smart guys if they were on his podcast. So this is definitely a book I'm going to start reading today. See, so yeah, Rick Rubin, Seth Rogen. There's a lot of celebrities here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to Ryan Holiday. I'm going to start checking this book out and we'll see how it goes. And that brings me to the point of when you're reading books, what I used to do is I used to have kind of like a spreadsheet 
Well, not really a spreadsheet, but more of like a place where I wrote down all the books I read in a particular year. So like in 2015, I read about 40 books. Um, last year, I read 26. And what this did was it kind of made it like almost like a challenge. You're like each week, you're going to try, you will try to read a certain amount of books to reach a certain goal. And I don't really advise that you do that. These days, I take more of my time when I read books. I might just read one book every month but really understand it, really go through it. Instead of just trying to get my tally up, get my numbers up. So instead of reading 40 books, you might wanna just spend a good month or two reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad and really understanding what's going on. Or maybe Stillness Speaks by Eckhart Tolle and just really digesting the information. But that's just my opinion. Do you try different things and see what works for you. Anyway, we'll continue. Finished reading, just finished my mango, and um, funny enough, the passage I was reading in Tools for Titans was by Remit Sethi, and it was about your thousand core fans, about the importance of getting your first thousand fans, and I found it hilarious that we were just talking about how I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. Well, basically, what they were saying is your thousand core fans are going to be your marketing team, they're going to really push your product or your service, whatever the hell you're doing out there, they're going to be very enthusiastic about it and spread the good news to everybody else so hopefully we're gonna get a thousand real soon and now it's time to meditate guys um so i'm gonna pause the video for the next 10 minutes um and try meditate try to calm my mind a bit i've been doing 10 minutes which is very manageable i just really want to get the habit back in i used to do 20 minutes back in the day but you know, it's a really hard habit to stay consistent with, but for the longest time, it feels like I was doing nothing for you, but it's so beneficial. My original subscribers will know that I basically started this channel with a 30-day meditation challenge where I was meditating every day for 30 days. So I'm going to do that right now, and we'll be seeing you guys soon. By the way, before I start meditating, check out this view. So this is where I meditate. There's just a lot of corn. My mom likes to grow a lot of vegetables in the backyard. See some corn here. More corn over there. We used to have some kale, but now I got some other shit. We just got all kinds of random stuff here. So it's really interesting in my backyard. I got the vegetables, the chickens, it's kind of like a little mini farm. So yeah, anyway, time to meditate. Take out this trash and go to the gym. Oh my Jason's waiting. It's doing mate! It's doing mate! Yeah mate! Jim, got my workout, pre-workout. Let's kill it. Bench press first. That's the work I complete. Literally the fucking laziest work I've ever done in my life. Just did bench press, some other shit, and yeah. What'd you think of that, Mason? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You get the camera time, bitch. Check out this blood trail. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Ugh. <laughs> So my mate's house and someone got fucked up. Stay in school, children. Don't do any gang activity. Black spot by the top. You see that? I think that's where it broke. All right, some detective work. Glass on the floor. Fly screen.
Detective Isaac suggests that someone fell from the top window, fucking splatted on the ground, started bleeding, and ran to the door. That's that's the case there. That's that's what happened. I think. Stay in school, children. <laughs> right, guys. Um, just got home, so I eat this dinner right here, which is fish and chips. While watching the new Joe Rogan podcast, I'm a big fan of Joe Rogan, and I'll probably do one of these. Um, fuck, these things are loading. See, we got some bullshit internet over here in Sydney. It's not like America where you guys have that quick shit. Anyway, I'm gonna let that load up. Eat this. Probably listen to this. Um, play on my iPad. I, I tend to play play on the iPad as I fall asleep. And that is the end of the day. Boom. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I don't really know how to vlog, but maybe I'll successful. Until next time, guys. Peace. Do it! Just do it!